Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome in our last lecture we have uh, discussed how social welfare uh, are generated through market participation by both consumers and producers right and uh, to measure that welfare uh, what is generated through market participation and market transactions okay that uh, we termed as surplus the consumers as a group what they are generating amount of welfare that we term as consumer surplus and similarly for the producers it is a producer surplus okay, producers as a group what they are generating okay and that surplus as we clarified that is basically the extra valuation that each of this party is generating to be specific consumer surplus is basically the a consumer uh, whatever valuation of the commodity or of the service uh, to that consumer has and what actually he or she is paying to the market when he is purchasing that commodity from the market right means the price. So, the gap or more specifically the positive gap between the market price what consumer is paying and consumers maximum willingness to pay that we are telling consumers valuation of that product. Right. So, that gap is, is basically the consumer surplus and exactly the same way the amount of market price what producers are getting for by selling their product, but what is the actual uh, cost to the producer to be able to deliver that product to the market. Right. So, that positive gap that is called producer surplus and since consumer pro and producer both are a part of our economy in the same society they are coming from. So, some of this consumer surplus and producer surplus that we told that total social surplus and this surplus is nothing but some quantitative measure or some uh, monetary valuation of the social welfare that is generated by the market transaction by the participation um, by the participation of these two group of uh, economic agents through the market transaction right so let me let me uh, we will we will actually start an another new chapter today chapter number 8 before that before that let us just as we claim earlier that uh, always consumers will be happy if they uh, have to pay little bit less and exact the other side producer will be always happy or happier if they get little bit more price for a commodity what producers are selling and what consumer are buying right. So, uh, and when we are telling that consumers will be happy or producers will be happy like that right. So, can that happy what we are telling be, uh, be captured in this social surplus whether their social sur or their corresponding surplus. Okay, is increasing or not let us try to understand that first and then we will start the uh, new chapter chapter number 8 in fact we will start today. Okay. So, suppose say, as usual suppose we are measuring say quantity demanded in the horizontal axis and price in the vertical axis and suppose this is the demand curve. Okay. So, suppose uh, so suppose this is the price okay. say O p star is the price level. Okay. Of course, uh, you can ask yourself how that OP star price level uh, comes into the picture perhaps the supply curve pass through this way right. So, we are not bringing that supply curve into the picture. So, uh, let us discuss what we are trying to convey here. Okay. Suppose this is the equilibrium price right. Now, as we know as we demonstrated in the last uh, lecture that this amount this triangular kind of amount area will be representing the consumers surplus consumers as a group consumers consumers as a group they are surplus okay or amount of surplus generated by all the consumers who are participating in the market at this price level op star price level per unit of that commodity right 
now suppose somehow if price level falls okay so suppose price falls to o p1 star okay so what will happen look then if that is this is the case consumer surplus will increase to this earlier surplus was this bounded by green color bounded triangular kind of area now surplus is this red color triangular kind of area okay so it basically this much this blue color shaded area is actually amount of consumer surplus increased okay so what we are telling that when consumers are uh, or consumers have to pay little bit less uh, price they will always happy this is this is some sort of reflection of that happiness in the in the amount of surplus they are getting or they are generating consumers as a group right now let us try to understand the amount of surplus what is generated or extra amount of surplus what is generated due to this fall in price from p star to p1 star okay this extra valuation what is generated or extra consumer surplus what is generated that is basically uh, this uh, this uh, this green area trapezoid kind of area right we can break that trapezoid area into two parts say maybe uh, c d and e so so extra or increment in consumer surplus due to price falls from p star to p1 star okay increment in consumer surplus is represented by p star c e p1 star this kind of trapezoid area that is the increment in consumer surplus increment in consumer surplus consumer surplus right out of that this consumer surplus we will break that must be equals to that this rectangular area p star c d p 1 star this rectangular area plus c d e this kind of triangular kind of area i am telling triangular it will be perfect triangle provided that this demand curve is a straight line demand curve right so it may not be straight line that is why i am telling triangular kind of look like a triangle okay so the extra increment in consumer surplus we can break into two components one this rectangular kind of area okay and another is this triangular kind of area so you can understand this rectangular area is representing the extra surplus gained by the consumers who were al already there in the market who were already there in the market by that what we are referring we are referring when price was o p star when price was o p star that time what was the quantity transaction in the market definitely that time quantity transaction was o q star right so this much of quantity was transacted or were purchased by the consumers right all the consumers who are participating in the market right now earlier those consumers uh, they were consuming until this quantity right oq star quantity right and they were generating suppose this is a point they were generating a p star a p star c m triangular kind of area uh, as the total consumer surplus now the add extra consumer surplus what this represented by this rectangular area p star c d p 1 star that rectangular area that is basically that is arising due to additional surplus gained by each of the existing customers existing customers means who were already participating before price changes or when price was op star level okay those customers each of them are actually getting this distance p1 star p star this distance amount of or that is the exactly the uh, reduction in the price right so that amount per unit of the transaction of that commodity uh, that amount is gained by or additional surplus gained as additional surplus by the already existing customers okay 
Now then what this C D E this triangular kind of area that is also a additional surplus generated right. Look that surplus is generated due to some new customers uh, being able to participate the market now. Okay. When price was O P star level some potential customers were there who were not able to tolerate that much price. Alternatively, we can tell in other words that that much price they cannot participate at that much price they, they were not able to purchase the product at that much high price. right? When price falls from O P star to O P 1 star, then this customer, this many customers. So, customers who are lying in between Q star and Q 1 star, Q star, Q 1 star that suppose this is Q 1 star. So, Q star, Q 1 star within this segment the customers who are there look at here these customers were not participating into the market transaction before the price falls when price was OP star. Okay. So, these customers can enter into the market only when price falls from O P star to O P 1 star. Right. So, this is the extra valuation or extra surplus generate, generated uh, due to uh, additional participation of the customers in the market, market transaction. Right. So, so, when price falls overall consumer surplus is increasing. Okay. We can uh, understand that increment in consumer surplus uh, 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 by breaking that into two parts. One part the each of the earlier existing consumers they are getting some additional surplus due to fall in price. Okay. Not only that due to fall in price some new customers could participate now into market transaction and due to their participation they are also generating some additional consumer surplus as a result total consumer surplus is increasing. Okay. Exactly the same thing will happen for the producer surplus let us go to the next, uh, next slide say we, we, we are telling no a producers uh, will always uh, willing to get little bit more price. Alternatively, we can tell that if price increases, producers will be happy, right? So their happiness also will be captured by increment in their surplus. Okay, say so, exactly the same way we are measuring price in the vertical axis, say quantity supplied in the horizontal axis, and suppose this is the supply curve. Okay, and suppose this was the price level O P star. That was the initial price level, right? So at that price level, until O Q star amount of commodity is transacted in the market, and each of those unit is transacted at the price O P star, right? And this is the gap between the price what sellers are getting per unit of the commodity vis a vis uh, what actually their cost of production reflects their cost of production is reflected by the supply curve right this say O uh, not O say suppose uh, this we are telling that say ASS 1 supply curve. Okay. Suppose. So, this was the uh, initial equilibrium point E and P star E S this triangular kind of area were representing the producer surplus, producer surplus, producers as a group, producer surplus. Okay. That was replaced. Now, suppose if price level somehow increase, say suppose this say price level is increased to P to star, right. So, price increases from O P star to O P to star. Okay. So, what will happen definitely producer surplus new producer surplus will be say E 1. So, new producer surplus will be triangular area this was the old surplus old. Okay. After the price change this is the new producer surplus new producer surplus that is represented by S E 1 P 2 star that kind of triangular area. right? So, definitely we can see that increment in producer surplus is represented by this trapezoid kind of area. So, P star, P 2 star, E 1, E this kind of trapezoid area this area is basically the 
increment increment in say consumer surplus we are writing C s consumers no not consumer surplus here producer surplus I am sorry this is producer surplus so P s suppose. So, increment in producer surplus right this amount exactly the like the consumer surplus we can break also uh, this uh, this uh, producer surplus into two parts say suppose this is D. So, this equals to we can write say P star E D P 2 star this kind of rectangular area and that is the rectangle right that rectangular area is basically the additional producer surplus generated by the producers who were able to uh, participate in the market before the price change at the OP star price level who were transacting who were able to sell their product in the market the each of them are for each unit of the product they are getting this additional amount of Okay, surplus. Okay. So, that is why that total area this total area is basically the extra surplus gained by the existing producers existing sellers existing always when we are referring existing existing in the sense that who were there before the price change who were participating in the market before the price price change right. And now this plus the triangular area say E D E 1 how we can represent that that is look at here until O Q star amount of uh, commodities were transacted before the price change after the price change say suppose transaction amount is increased to O Q to star. Okay, so, this much extra cost, uh, extra producers now can participate into the market transaction means these producers as we told those producers are not that much efficient like the producers who were who were within this segment right in the, as we clarified earlier in the same way these producers who are within this Q star Q to star range the producers who are within the Q star Q to star range they are not that much efficient uh, compared to the producers who are lying within the OQ star range right. Not efficient in which sense because their cost of production is little bit more they are not capable to deliver that product in that cheaper price right they need more price and that is why they consist of this segment of the supply curve right this 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 blue color this segment of the supply curve they consist of right okay and they were not. Uh, able to tolerate the market price OP star earlier. Now, due to market price increases, okay, they can enter into the market and as a result, th th they are also able to participate, they are also able to sell their product now and as a result, they are generating this additional triangular kind of area surplus. So, surplus is increasing, uh, producer surplus is increasing due to additional uh, producers participation into the market transaction and exactly the same way uh, here additional consumer surplus this triangular area additional consumer surplus is generated due to some additional customers being able to participate into the market transaction ok. So, in that way uh, we can we can uh, capture uh, the respective happiness of each of the uh, groups consumers and producers uh, how that happiness when they are become, we are telling that when price falls uh, consumers will be happy right. So, how we can capture that additional kind of why they are happy right whether that is reflected in the social welfare generated within the society yeah? ok yes that is reflected because their surplus consumers as a group surplus is increasing exactly the other side producer side when price is increasing producers as a group their surplus also is increasing right ok. Now, let us uh, start the chapter or what is our today's agenda ok. So, uh, our today's agenda is basically to start another chapter number 8 we are discussing right. So, it is basically if you see the title of that chapter application ok cost of taxation application colon cost of taxation ok. In the earlier chapter chapter 7 where we introduce this consumer uh, con concepts of consumer surplus producer surplus social welfare and all those right. Uh, there we have discussed how free market uh, operation 
okay. If you allow uh, competitive market to operate freely, customers and producers or market, market price will be determined by the uh, interaction okay, by the customers and producers or demand supply interaction uh, that force uh, on its own and without any intervention by any third party like government or some policy makers, right. We have shown that free market will be able to generate the um, maximum size of the cake, that cake is the social welfare, we, we, we term it as social welfare, okay, total surplus, okay. Now, uh, we have shown that if some government intervention or some authoritative intervention into that, uh, into that uh, system, right, uh, if the intervention comes through the quantity side, we told no in the last last class we have shown that in this side if government intervened by say uh, rationing kind of thing uh, say government is uh, cutting down the transaction uh, or fixing a limit beyond that no transaction is allowed into that market right or uh, say suppose this is the demand curve this is the supply curve this is the otherwise equilibrium quantity oq star right but government is forcing that no, 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 let us uh, uh, market transaction should be OQ1 star until that OQ1 star amount, right. So, we have shown and that government can force that uh, through say subsidized mechanism that we have discussed in the last class, right. And we have shown that both the cases when government is curtaining through rationing mechanism or government is forcing to for the little bit more transaction, more vis a vis the equilibrium, free market equilibrium transaction amount, right, through perhaps the subsidized mechanism, both the cases actually government is indirectly distorting the market. By distorting the market, what we are referring, actually total amount of welfare uh, generated within this market, uh, through this market transaction, which we tell as social surplus right total surplus or social surplus right that is going to come down in both the cases this case as well as that case that we have shown today our agenda is when government intervene in this side price side okay whether exactly similar sort of distortion arises or not okay now this side government can intervene in two ways either fixing uh, some uh, upper upper limit or lower limit like uh, uh, price floor or price ceiling kind of thing or can government can intervene through introduction of some tax right so let us first discuss using an another diagram that uh, when government is uh, putting some threshold or some upper bound or lower bound kind of thing or when government is uh, fixing uh, some price floor or price ceiling kind of thing, no minimum support price, uh, rent control mechanism all we have discussed earlier, right. So, suppose uh, and in this case when we are discussing, uh, we are considering only the price floor or price ceiling which are bound, uh, binding kind of nature, which has some implication uh, on the equilibrium, okay. So, suppose uh, this is the uh, say quantity demanded, quantity supplied we are measuring in the horizontal axis, vertical axis price we are measuring as usual. Suppose this is the demand curve, this is the supply curve, no, this is the supply curve. So, AS S1 is the supply curve, D D1 is the suppose demand curve, right, okay. And suppose this is the price floor, okay, government is fixing, okay. So, we have discussed earlier that otherwise this could be the equilibrium price level, say O P star could be the equilibrium price level and at that price level O Q star amount of commodity may be uh, will be transacted in the market. Now, government is putting some price floor say minimum support price, okay. like say minimum support price is here O P F star that amount of price per unit of the transaction. Right. So, definitely that is the high price, right. Yes, uh, sellers will be very happy, okay, and they will be willing to supply even more. Uh, earlier at market equilibrium price, they, they were able to supply on this quantity. Now, when price floor is this side, sellers are happy and sellers are willing to supply until this, say maybe OQ1 star amount of quantity, right. But at that price, not enough amount of customers are there to purchase their product, okay. So, how much customers are there at that price, at this price level, how much customers are there who can participate, who can purchase the product at that price, only this much of customers, right. So, 
as a result what is happening? If government do not intervene into the market through this kind of price floor, total amount of surplus or alternatively if government do not intervene and allow this market to operate freely, total amount of surplus could be this, this red color kind of area that could be the consumer surplus as a group and what could be the producer surplus in that case? Definitely this green color triangular kind of area that could be the producer surplus. So, say maybe this is E point. So, D E S this triangular kind of area could be the total uh, social surplus right that was the and that is the size of the total amount of welfare generated by the both consumers and producers through their market participation right. Okay. Now, when government is intervening through this kind of price floor mechanism right, consumer surplus is cutting down to what from say D P star E triangular kind of area that was that could be the consumer surplus before government intervention and after government intervention it is reduced to say suppose this is K point. Okay. So, it is reduced to uh, triangular area D P F star K point okay, this much. So, consumer surplus is reduced by this yellow kind of shaded area okay. and producer surplus what will happen? Look producer surplus now each of the producers are getting who can participate into the market after this uh, increment or introduction of the price floor right this kind of binding price flow right each of them are getting this price this price opf star this price right so producer surplus now will be this trapezoid kind of area this yellow border trapezoid kind of area will be the producer surplus okay so look at here now the consumer surplus and producer surplus together what is happening this triangular area is the consumer surplus and this trapezoid area is the producer surplus. So, total social surplus is becoming this trapezoid kind of area D suppose this is K 1 point D K Q 1 S this kind of trapezoid area is the D K Q 1 S this kind of trapezoid area is the total social surplus. So, definitely K K 1 E this much of surplus is lost due to this kind of binding price floor mechanism imposed by the government. Okay. Exactly same way we can show let us let, let us show that using a, a new diagram say suppose uh, government is imposing some price ceiling of course, binding kind of nature say quantity demanded, quantity supplied this side, price that side, this is the say D D 1 demand curve. Okay, S S1 supply card E is the equilibrium point, otherwise equilibrium point which could be generated in the free market okay, if market is allowed to operate freely, right? And O Q star this is the amount of transaction could be transacted in the market and each unit of the transaction could be transacted at O P star at price level. Now, suppose government impose this kind of price ceiling price ceiling we are telling P C star price ceiling okay, binding kind of price ceiling. So, that is price ceiling that is the upper limit of the price right. So, nobody in this market is allowed to transact that commodity okay, at any price above the O P C star level right. Nobody is allowed that is the legally prohibited price above this level right. So, what will happen? At that price level, look at since price level is this O P C star price level is lower than O P star price level. So, consumers are happy. So, earlier this much consumers were there, now this many consumers are there, they are willing to purchase that product at that price. But sellers are not uh, we, or that many sellers earlier this much consumers were participating in the market before the government intervention this much sellers were also there, they were able to uh, sell that product at that price at the market equilibrium price. So, after the uh, imposition of this kind of uh, O P C star amount of price ceiling, although 
uh, OQ on star amount of customers are there, they are willing to participate in the market at that price level, but only say O Q 2 star amount of sellers are there who can tolerate that much lower price. Okay. So, as a result what will happen? Transaction will happen only up to O Q star amount, only up to Q star amount right. So, this area, so S E P star this triangular area could be the uh, producer surplus, producer surplus in the free market okay. and triangular area D E P star could be the consumer surplus in the free market. So, total surplus, total social surplus could be the triangular area D E S that kind of triangular area could be total social surplus right. After this kind of binding price ceiling kind of restriction imposed by the government, what is happening? Transaction is cut into O Q 2 star right and as a result consumer surplus is increasing say suppose this is K and this is K 2 point say suppose this is k prime and that is k 2 point right. So, consumer surplus is becoming now say this green shaded area, this green shaded area ok. So, consumer surplus is now uh, d k 2 k star uh, not k star k prime k prime d k 2 k prime P C star. This trapezoid kind of area is the now consumer surplus. And what is the producer surplus? Producer surplus which could be P star E S amount, which could be this amount that is now reduced to S K prime P C star amount that triangular kind of area ok. This is now the producer surplus. So, if you sum up this consumer surplus and producer surplus, total social surplus is basically represented by the trapezoid area D k 2 k prime s that kind of trapezoid area is the total social surplus. So, obviously again k 2 k prime e this kind of triangular area is the loss of social surplus. So, when we are comparing these two surpluses and when we are telling the loss in the social surplus that is the loss of the uh, welfare of the society loss vis a vis if say government uh, introduced or imposed some uh, price ceiling or price floor vis a vis if government do not intervene into the market and allow the market to operate freely. If allow the market to operate freely what could be the social surplus generated after the government inter, uh, intervention into the market what is the surplus is generating. And these two surplus if we compare we are seeing that after the government intervention surplus is always going down ok. So, we can tell that through this kind of imposition of binding kind of price ceiling or price floor government is actually distorting the market. By, by, by that kind of intervention although the uh, intention in the government's mind or policy, policy makers mind is to give a section of the party some relief right either customers or producers depending on which whether it is price ceiling or price floor a section the government is trying to give some relief right. But actually through that mechanism government is distorting the market and total social amount or social welfare amount is going to reduce through this kind of intervention. Okay. Let us stop here. In our next lecture, we will discuss exactly the same way government intervention is the price dimension, but through imposition of the tax, what would happen.